mad history. And what it really means, you know, I said long term implications because, man, we're beautiful people. You know, I acknowledge that from the forefront. Um, I only do this podcast because I really believe that, you know, I really believe we're beautiful people. I believe we have so much potential. If I didn't believe that we have so much growing, um, so much potential as a humongous, a huge uh, force in politics, in the country, then I wouldn't be saying the things that I'm saying. And um, I believe it's up to us to aspire to become leaders. So I'm, I'm kind of glad that I'm able to think a little bit right now um, about this central idea um, where we need to be now where we should have been yesterday and where we need to be tomorrow, like immediately tomorrow. We need to be making decisions right now to become leaders in our own right, to develop leaders right now, not, I'm talking about yesterday. We need to be making leaders yesterday, you know, I know I'm kind of, you know, changing things around and playing with words, but I mean, man, it, you know, we're behind, you know, we're behind the eight ball, you know, we um, have taken a huge step back and uh, the education that our people really had prior to um, the European invasion, prior to 1492, prior to uh, the genocide. Of a hundred million people. Do not forget. And do not take it lightly. You know. This was. A holocaust. You compare six million to a hundred million. And it dwarfs. The biggest holocaust. Hollywood talks about. They make fun of us. Of course they're going to discount our history. But that's not really what we're talking about. But we are talking about narratives. And I do want to draw that simulation. Is because we don't control narratives. And I don't think that we fully understand. Not all of us. Some of us do. And that's why it's important we start developing leaders. Um that want to coalesce and want to share these um, ideas, intellectual conversations, uh, deep thought podcasts, whatever, I'm down. You can get me at chicanopodcast at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook, whatever. Um, we need leadership, and we need it right now, and we need to start talking about what we're going to do uh, to... Heal all the issues and also prevent uh, any more um, poison. You know, we got to stop the poison coming into the body. We got to stop the poison coming into the mind. We got to look at the long term implications of these narratives uh, that are out there uh, the disassociation of the land, the disassociation of the culture, uh, the perpetuated idea that certain words are negative. I mean, who taught you? And I'm quoting uh, Malcolm X. Who taught you to hate yourself? Who taught you 
the color of your to hate the color of your skin. Who taught you that? That's what I mean when I say the long-term implications of the media and these ideas. You cannot believe everything in Hollywood. You can't believe that the Mexican is dirty or lazy or sleepy or the Indian is tonto, like in the Long Ranger, tonto, every movie they used to put out. You don't even see us on TV. They want to erase us, you know. And um, where I'm really going with this is, is um, I have been seeing some and having conversations uh, that have been pretty, pretty alerting, you know. Uh, A lot of people are uh, pretty sensitive uh, when it comes to certain uh, ideas that have been perpetuated along with science and even religion have uh, crossed paths uh, to make us uh, feel and think the way that we do and it's it's I mean it is what it is before um, you know and, and, and there's something that I'm going to say and you can take it how you want to but we all need to decolonize we all need to decolonize you know, we need to stop eating the poison. We need to stop eating all the synthetic fake uh, substances. We need to be putting in natural, good uh, nourishment to not only the, 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 the body, but the mind as well. And um, I'm telling you, man... Um, there have been a lot of lies told to us, and uh, we still believe a lot of lies. So when I say decolonize, um, of course, a lot of the narratives that are going to be pushed by the media are going to be very controlling, very divisive, and um, they're there to make you wonder and question uh, our ability and our own integrity as a people they're there to challenge our heroes they're there to um, dismiss our history and they're there to divide us because if they can have us fighting ourselves then they don't even have to fight us anymore that's how ignorant we are is that we don't realize the ramifications of some of these um, ideas so when I say decolonize there's a lot of things that were brought on in 1492 and all of those things were not here prior to that invasion prior to that colonization prior to that rape that rape of the mind that rape of the soul and that rape of our people physically the real rape and that murdering genocide of our people you have to look at it in reality you know to understand that yes they're going to say things like we're mutts or we don't have a culture we don't have a history we were not a civilization because we did not write we couldn't read those are all false narratives